What's up guys, Romance Sessions, welcome back. I'm your host, Timothy Rhyme, and it's about to get real. On today's episode, we'll be talking with a gentleman by the name of Mark Evilsizer. Mark is the Executive Director of Encuentros Leadership. They are a community-based organization, and they try to empower young Chicano males in the San Diego area to just be leaders in their community through education. And today, that's what we're gonna be talking about. We're gonna be talking about the power of education. And if you guys know me, you guys know how firmly I believe in that. Um, I went from GTA to CPA and I talk about it in my music. So uh, yeah, I think that you know your education is gonna be your foundation and I, I encourage everybody to, to tap into that energy. Uh, before we get started, please hit the like and the subscribe. Uh, leave us a comment, let us know how we're doing. Let us know what you guys think of this project, Grown Man Sessions, and if we bring any value to you, or if you believe in what we're doing, trying to change the world with one interview at a time, uh, please just consider becoming a patron for as little as a few dollars a month. Uh, and with that being said, without further ado, let's get this thing going. Always a real uh, honor and a real pleasure for me uh, when I get to interview people that uh, you know I, I would probably never get to you know sit down in a room with on a regular day. Uh, so uh, my guest today, his name is Mark Evilsizer, and uh, he is a public elected official. Um, he's 20 years in elected office. Um, he is uh, the executive director of Encuentros Leadership. Uh, if you guys remember, uh, I had Juan Gaitan on Grown Man Sessions a few episodes back. Um, he works with him in trying to empower uh, young Latino males in the San Diego area. So uh, let's bring Mark on. How are you doing, Mark? Thank you for hey. your time. Hello, Tim. Thank you for inviting me. I'm really excited to be able to share a little bit about my experience and my journey through life with you and your listeners. That's awesome. Yeah, that's exactly what, uh, you know, we, we value that so much because um, I think growing up, I always wished that, you know, I, I had more access to more older males to give me uh, more life advice uh, because I, you know, with, through, through the, you know, the evolution of technology, of course, we have way more access to different voices. But, you know, back in my day, it was like, you know, either as a teacher or a counselor or somebody like that that would try to give me advice. and. It didn't always resonate, so I figure if uh, you know somebody that's been through some some hardships can find other people like yourself to offer information, you know maybe people will, will find that is like okay like this is worth listening to for me. So that's just our goal, and I'm you know just hoping that the universe uh, makes those connections for us. But uh, we have no control over that, so uh, all we can do now is just uh, just share the stories. That's right. Stories are a very powerful uh, message and uh, they've been used for generations and generations to pass history down between generations and uh, experiences so that future generations can benefit from that knowledge and that wisdom. I didn't pursue my higher education until, you know, later in life. I, I always joke with my daughter that I was on the 15-year plan instead of the four-year plan. And, I feel uh, you. I, that, that was my path too. I'll share that. <laughs> so I uh, I didn't go back to school until you know after she was I think she was at least like four or five, but um, yeah I, I ended up getting my education and that's when my life changed. Um, and and I com I completely can vouch for the the fact that opportunities open like you know all these different uh, things that you didn't know were possible before. Um, I come from a background of, you know, single mother, uh, you know, working family, not rich, but, you know, not very stable either. Um, you know, no father in the picture. And I didn't really have very many professionals in my, in my immediate surroundings to look up to. Um, but fast forward, you know, 10, 15, what, what, 20 years later, um, I'm a CPA, you know? So, uh, I just, I, I can't emphasize enough how true that statement is. Just, you know, without sounding too cliche, um, just that your education can open so many doors. That it, it, it's just, it's hard to really put it into perspective without having go through the, going through the experience yourself, but just believe that it's, it's, a, it's a definitely a real thing. 
Yeah, and you know, I, I, I come from humble beginnings as well. Uh, my uh, maternal grandfather was a barber and a baker, and uh, my, uh, my, my grandfather on my dad's side was a coal miner and a oh, farmer. Wow. And so, you know, they made it through the depression, which was really tough times economically. And, uh, you know, I think they stress the importance of how strong family can be and how uh, supportive, you know, a network of friends can be to just help you day to day and get through the really difficult periods of your life. Yeah. But I was the first one and probably like you, the first in your family to go to college and, and, and successfully graduate. And uh, that was a, a big cause for celebration. Um, but, you know, I didn't choose the easy path either. I uh, fell in love with, a, with my wife. And we were in high school. We met when we were 15 years old. Oh, wow. And we were parents at 18 years old. And uh, I was already graduated and in my first year of college. And we had our daughter. And. Uh, you know, all of a sudden, here I am, not only a college student, but a, a father, a husband, you know, taking on all these new roles. And that's right. a commitment. It's a huge commitment. Oh, yeah. And not one to be taken lightly. So I taught as a part time professor at some of the local community colleges. And I also volunteered time and, and got involved with Encuentros Leadership which is a nonprofit organization whose mission is to create Latino leaders through education. Mm -hmm. And that's, that's our mission. I think the important thing for young people is to find out what they're passionate about. What do they love? And, and then think about what types of careers can I get into that would uh, help me uh, promote that passion that, that where I would go to a job and and not have it feel like a job. It wouldn't be cumbersome. <laughs> it would be joyful right. uh, to be able to go into work every day and exciting to be able to you know do the things that you love to do. So I, I think that's the most important thing for young people is really pursue your passions. What what do you really really like? What do you enjoy? What really makes you happy? And go for it. Yeah, I when I got into community college, I had no idea what I wanted to do. Like zero idea, but. When I started taking more and more classes, I started realizing like, okay, like these are certain things that, that I'm good at and that I actually like doing. And I took an accounting class and, you know, without getting into too much detail, I was actually uh, fighting a, a case at the time. And I was out on bail from a, a charge that I had gotten. And I, I just was telling myself like, I need to do something different. Like my life can't, I can't have that be my life. And so I was taking these classes at community college I took an accounting class and all the guys that I knew in the class were looking at these problems and, and the stuff that we we're learning. And it was like, what? You know, like it's just, you know, they, their heads were exploding. And to me, like, I, it just made sense. You know, I, I and all the different little debits and credits and how to make the balance sheet balance and the income statements, it just made a lot of sense to me. And so I was doing really well in the class and the teacher pulled me to the side, he said, Tim, he said, I really think that you should pursue this as a as a career. He said, you you seem to like get this like really easily. He said, I haven't seen you struggle, and you know, I really think that this is something that you should do. So fast forward, I think it took me maybe three or four years to complete that you know that process of my education. I got into C uh, Cal State Northridge, and I ended up emailing him, and I told him like, hey, you know, I just want to thank you for planting that seed in my head because it really motivated me to like now I'm in the accounting program. And I always accredit that teacher and that class for me becoming a CPA because had I never taken that class or really tried to take that route, I firmly believe that I probably would either be in jail or I'd probably be doing something really dumb right now because that class, it gave me the confidence that, okay, I can do something else. And I see that all the time. I see students transform the trajectory of their lives and, and mm -hmm. finding through an accounting class. Wow, this is, you know, I like this. And people will pay me to solve their problems for them. <laughs> help, them you know, help me manage my my financial situation. And yeah, people will pay for that. So that's <laughs> great. And you're quite lucky. And, and a lot of our faculty are fantastic people. To have somebody spot that in you and then to ignite that interest and have you pursue that. And, and being a CPA is a big deal. 
that's right up there with being a lawyer or you know another professional um yeah i i just uh i think that like how you said you know transforming your trajectory um takes time but uh it all starts in my opinion it all starts with uh you trying to you know better yourself and tim i really love what you're doing here in uh you know using technology to promote uh, this kind of communication and these messages for young people and uh, just you know sharing with them the importance of various things and and i'd like to go back to um you know like you being a role model for young people thank you and you sharing your excitement or you know what you do for a living with with young men and that's what we do in encuentros we try to get role models in there to show these young people hey i was just like you i was struggling <laughs> in school I was getting referred to the vice principal's office for disciplinary <laughs> matters. I was getting this close to getting kicked out. But having a role model and have somebody kind of mentor them um, is really important. And not everybody has that opportunity in life. Uh, you were very fortunate. Yeah, I always, uh, I always like uh, asking this question mark just because everybody's experience is different and I get uh, really interesting responses. Um, but what do you think is the most important lesson you've learned along your journey so far? You know, I think uh, it's important to treat all people with respect and dignity, first and foremost. Um, and it's also very important to give back. You know, you may have taken the elevator to the top of the, the top of the world, but once you've made it, it's very important for you to, to send it back down and to bring others up with you. So anything you can do to lift others up and give back, and remember that we're all in this together, uh, no matter what walk of life you come from. Uh, we all wanna promote success and uh, let everybody have an equal opportunity to succeed and to um, prosper, really. Both financially yeah. and in health, you know. Oh yeah, I totally understand what you're saying because I, I live by a very similar philosophy as far as uh, you know trying to lift other people up as well. But in, in your eyes, like, what do you what do you see that as? Like, how how do you think that uh, other people that may be listening can you know uh, accomplish that? Well, you know, one of the things you might be able to do is to start with your own family. Be a role model for your younger brother, your sisters, your cousins, your neighbors. Mm -hmm. um, be the good example and um, try, to, try to show them the way. If you're the oldest in your family like I was, you can help the younger people navigate through that labyrinth or system of, of education. I mean, it's, there's some obstacles there, you know, you got to get through the financial aid, and get through the admissions process. And a yeah. lot of these things are foreign to people if they don't have an older person to help mentor them and guide them through that obstacle course, if you will. So that's something you can always do is, is help your younger family and, and friends and, and be the role model. Um, again, once you've become a CPA, for example, that's a message, you know, hey, I, I didn't know what I wanted to do and, and, and here's what I did. And so just sharing your story and your personal experiences with others is quite important. So, yeah, I remember uh, we we kind of touched on that when I was talking with Juan Gaitan on my on my session with him, you know, because I, I told him, you know, I just wanted to give him his flowers for, you know, uh, not only setting the example, but for working to actually try to bring others along that, uh, you know, maybe have gone through similar things that he had. Uh, so he, he, he holds the same uh, value. So I thought that was really cool. Yeah. And, you know, it's really, I, I like uh, Juan is, is, is a picture boy, if you will, for the or a poster child. There we go. Of the Encuentros leadership model. And um, I so admire his uh, passion to uplift his community, the Latino community, and to make sure that young people don't fall through the cracks. Um, he avoided that, and that's what he wants to share is, hey, navigate yourselves through this system and, and let's let's get on with it. Let's all, you know, uh, have a better life. Yeah, so. definitely. Well, with uh, individuals like yourself to guide us, I think, uh, you know, people like myself, uh, the audience, we're all better off for it. So uh, thank you very much, Mark, for sharing your story. My pleasure. 
thank you for offering your guidance and uh, just thank you for, you know, the work that you do in general, because uh, I, I, I firmly believe that if there were an Encuentros leadership in every city in the, in the country, um, things would be very different, um, you know. So I highly encourage others, as I did on uh, the episode with Juan Gartan, to check out Encuentros Leadership. You can Google it and uh, just give it a, a quick little view, and I guarantee you're going to find something that's inspiring about it. And, you know, uh, where can they reach? Where can people reach you, Mark, if they wanted to uh, get more information about Encuentros? Well, um, uh, through our website, most certainly, encuentrosleadership.org. Okay. Um, and we have links there for folks to communicate questions, or maybe they want to volunteer. Maybe they want to start an Encuentros club at their high school or their college. Um, we'd be willing to help provide you know, guidance and uh, ideas to help them with that. Because we really would like to replicate what we're doing down here in San Diego County in places like LA County, Orange County, Riverside. Um, but we really like to spread that uh, help and, and uh, messaging for young people because I think it's really needed. And they're not getting that through the, the K-12 system, for example. So, uh, yeah, I'll start with the website, uh, Mark Evilsizer at AOL.com and is, is another way to get a hold of me. And if I can't direct you somewhere, we have people on our uh, board that, that can. So, Awesome. Well, uh, so the, the message I, I hope that everybody uh, gets is, uh, you know, get your education, you know, uh, invest in yourself, uh, find what you're good at, find something that you love to do and, uh, you know, just pursue it because I guarantee you it'll pay off. And, you know, once you look back and you, you realize all the obstacles that you overcame, it's you're going to be proud of yourself. Yeah, it's you incorporated. You got to learn how to market yourself, not be <laughs> bashful, get out there and, and be you. And, uh, you know, the, the world is your oyster. If, if you recognize that, just go out there and get it. Yes, sir. Yeah, and in the meantime, uh, if you need some motivation or some help, uh, you know, tune into Grown Man Sessions, and hopefully we can uh, offer some sort of uh, some guidance along the way too. <laughs> um, but I always end the episode by saying, um, uh, one person can change the world, but it's one person at a time, and that one person is you. Uh, thank you, everybody, for tuning in. Thank you, Mark, for joining us today. Um, if you got anything from this episode, please hit the like and subscribe, and, and leave us a comment. Or you can email us at sessions at yahoo.com if you have any questions or if you just want to tell us, uh, you know, what, how we're doing. Um, yeah, and then uh, uh, tune in for more episodes next time. Uh, so thank you guys, and we'll see you guys next time. <laughs>